Hi, this is Robren, Whisper Robren. I'd like to introduce you to the Robren Show, which is TRS. It simply means the ridiculous supremacists. So this is a fantastic story about Malaysian fanatics asking Singapore to change the name of Bukit Timah. So is this fake news? Let's investigate. So let me tell you about the Bukit Timah history. So since the interior island was not fully explored at that time, and the location of the name and the hill for the map probably came from the Malay community. So Bukit Timah literally means in Malay, Tin Hill, which was already identified in the 1828 map by Franklin Jackson as Bukit Timah. The hill in question was depicted on the map towards the northwest as the two hills are on the east source of the Kranji River. Despite the name, Bukit Timah has nothing to do with Tin. The original Malay name for the hill was Bukit Timak, meaning the hill of Timak trees, a tree that is that grew abundantly on the slopes of the hill. However, to the western year, Timak in Malay enunciation sounded like Tima, so hence the name Bukit Timah stuck. So for some, Bukit Timah is synonymous with the Singapore Turf Club, which their members and paying visitors visit and flock there on race days. Now, this is where Malaysian fanatics are offended. In fact, some Malaysian fanatics, uh, religious fanatics, are easily offended by just about anything, about any word. Uh, they, they don't allow you to use certain words uh, like, like Allah and stuff. And it's, the, it's only in Malaysia you have such things. So the, those Malaysian fanatics believe that Bukit Timah, which is, has close association with the sinful, non-halal Singapore Turf Club, does not honor Fatima. So Fatima al Zara was born to the Islamic prophet Muhammad and Khadija, and according to Sunni Muslims, Fatima was the youngest of their daughters, whereas the Shia Muslims, as always, they both have very different opinion and beliefs, maintain that Fatima was the only biological child of the couple who lived to adulthood. So these fanatics insisted that Singapore change the name, just like they wanted the name of uh, Tima Whiskey to change and uh, Auntie uh, whatever, uh, Auntie Anne's uh, hot dog changed into whatever. So they insisted that Singapore change the name to Bukit Raffles, the founder of Singapore, so that Malays are not confused by the name. Apparently, uh, Vivian Balakrishnan, the Minister of the Foreign Affairs of Singapore, remarked in his Facebook account that those fanatics can go fly a Kelantan kite. Of course, this is a satire by Whisper Robren. So you can check out my full article. If those people don't understand this, they really, uh, yeah. So there's some people that really believe this. So uh, in fact, this is all some of the, only that happens in Malaysia. People apparently are confused. Now you ask any 10 year old, if they're confused about these four things, the Tima whiskey bottle, Okay, they may not have tasted whiskey, but they'll know it's not Coca-Cola, right? Which is a Coca-Cola bottle. And A&W since 1919 is called A&W Root Beer. So we all know Root Beer is not beer. Who doesn't know that? Everybody knows that. And then there's also uh, Auntie Anne's uh, uh, hot dog. So any word of this dog and pig and this and that and the year of the pig and the pork, this is totally gone out of hand. So the Robren show exposes the stupidity of fanatics. So please do not, do not uh, give in to the pressures of fanatics. Stick to your brand. If you built your brand, you should not let this Talibanism from fanatics and only a tiny handful and the rest of the world is laughing. This is heavily reported around the world. How crazy, uh, you know, how people are confused about crosses and this and that, as if, you know, give them a break. Thank you very much. This is Mr. Robren. Take care.